go. I mean, it can be your garden, it, it can, can be your garden shed, whatever it is, your greenhouse, whatever. I, I mean, we all Why have our Everests. Risky? But I think that... No, it's a you, challenge, you mean. Oh, the challenge. It's a challenge. I mean, well, it's a challenge. challenge is in your garden shed. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, so, I mean, there are Everests everywhere. And, um, and therefore, I mean, since the age of seven, I always wanted to follow in Mallory's footsteps, wearing the same clothes. And look, so, Nick, I'm not... No, 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 it's no, all right, no, don't worry, I'm not going to grab you, I promise. <laughs> I think you just so, did. Uh, this, is, this is what it's like. This is what it's like at base camp. That's just why it's late night. You tend to grab people like this. Is this what the French do? It's what the French do. <laughs> no, I think that uh, it actually is uh, quite a serious thing going to the toilet on Mount Everest. <laughs> and, and we were at 27,000 feet, Evelyn Adams and I, Graham Hoyland, myself, and Doji. Anyway, the wind was blowing. We're about to go for the summit. And uh, suddenly, Emberman Adams said to me, I've got to go for a crap. I said, you can't go for a crap. You can't. We're well, at 27,000 feet. The wind's blowing everywhere. There's a four-mile drop. Four of us in a two-man tent. This is reality. I said, no, no, no. I said, crap in your pants. I said, God, I'm a gentleman. Oh, for God's sake, it'll turn to dust. As it does at altitude. Come on, oh. give me his... Be quiet, then. So, I grabbed it. <laughs> I brought his body across me. Well, easy, because the bloody carabiners are coming out with a four-mile drop what? into the comb. And I, carabiners. For climbing. For climbing. Oh. So I got him across my body, unzipped, oh. and the snow's coming in. He went out there and said, tie off! Because his brain wasn't working. I have this gift for altitude, and they, they didn't have. I said, tie yourself off, tie yourself off. Think of your mother. Think of your children. Try and keep concentrated. And he went out there, and, of course, we... Uh, he had a crap. <laughs> oh, no, I think we've established he came that. back in, and I got to get him across my body, get him across my body, and I said, ah, oh, we're still alive. I thought, Christ, well, oh, we'd better have a brew up. And uh, we were just getting the brew up ready, and suddenly Graham Hoyland said, there's a terrible smell of shit. <laughs> and I turned round, and there was a turd on Eppleman Adam's shoulder. Now, <laughs> what had happened was, He'd had a crap, the wind had blown it up in the air, and there'd been a lull in the wind, and it had landed on his shoulder. And, and that's the glamour of Mount Everest. You don't, you know... You make it sound so you don't, you don't get this on Newsnight. No, but... Uh, I, you don't no, get no, this no, on I, Panorama. I, I, you, I, 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 you don't get this on Pass. I, 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 I mean, you I don't, know, you don't get, get this on the news. You don't get this you on... You don't get the news. reality of what Everest is. No, you're is. going to do the opposite of Everest, I'm told. You're going to go to the deepest... Uh,